Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So in Microsoft Edge for Desktop, Microsoft, as I have been posting, has replaced the web capture tool with the new screenshot tool, which, as the name implies, if you click on that, which is, by the way, by default, it's available at the bottom of the sidebar, you can capture a portion of your screen or a whole web page as an example and you've got a couple of different options available here at the bottom where you can add a square circle arrow and so on and you can save x out and you can click on done now it seems that microsoft is going to be enhancing the capabilities of the screenshot tool and edge screenshot tool um, is going to be getting several new options it's going to be getting chat with Copilot because as I have been posting, Copilot, um, Microsoft is now pushing that into all their different app services and platforms. It's going to be getting a text detector or OCR functionality, search image with Bing in the sidebar and search text with Bing. And this is not available as yet in the stable version. It's very early days. And it's currently been tested in Edge Canary 122, which is the latest preview version. And it's not a default feature as yet, even in Edge Canary, it has to be enabled using a command line flag. Now, just to demonstrate, once the command line flag has been enabled, if I head to the screenshot, click on that, and I'll just capture a little part of my new tab page. Here we can see that we've got a couple of extra options available. So yeah, chat with Copilot. So if I click on that, it opens up Copilot in the side panel and adds that screenshot to to the actual copilot and then i can ask copilot anything about that image and i actually think that's a nice little handy feature if you are using the screenshot and or copilot in conjunction let's try out something else let's take another little screen capture and this time that's the text detector now there is no text in this image but and the screenshot but obviously that will detect any text and obviously that's the ocr uh, functionality and then this one is search image with Bing, and that will open up uh, in the side panel. And then obviously you can do more related searches with Bing, which I actually think is a nice little enhancement as well. And let's try another one. So a good couple of extra functions Microsoft is testing. And then we've got a search text with Bing. Now I don't have any text in this a screenshot but you get the idea you'll be able to search that text with bing that you've captured using the text detector or the ocr functionality and then over here we've even got to undo and you can obviously the other options are all available so um, i think that's some nice handy options rolling out um, for the screenshot tool and as mentioned um still very early days and it has to be enabled in Edge Canary using a command line flag. Now, if you are testing features in Canary, then this is the command line flag, and that's quite a mouthful, okay? So lots going on, and I'll leave this uh, flag down below for you to copy and paste for easy access and reference. If you want to try this out in Edge Canary, not available in stable as mentioned, and how you enable a command line flag, if you have viewed this channel, um, you may know, but just a quick recap, you right-click on any shortcut of Edge Canary, you head to your properties and in the target, um, after the actual target, and I'm just going to get to the end of that target. This is quite a long command line flag. You can see here that you've got .exe quotations. Now, if there's anything in front of that, delete it. So .exe quotations, leave a space. You must leave a space after the quotations and then copy and paste that command line flag in. Click apply, click OK. Close Edge Canary, reopen the browser, and that should work. And I have found that if it doesn't work on the initial um, launch, then just close and open the browser a couple of times or even restart your computer, which might get the job done. So we have a couple of extra um, functionality running out to the screenshot tool, as mentioned, which has now uh, replaced the web capture. So obviously Microsoft focusing on this quite a lot now. And I think there's a good chance that that will make its way down to the stable version. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.